Hi guys, it's your girl, the Oli Munekwede, double KK. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how to cook a wood soup or sauce and how to get it right, okay? And then guys, this is part two of a whole recipe on my platform. I also have another different uh, recipe, different method, okay? You can also go scroll and watch. So let's start cooking. So this is all we need to cook our Oho soup. Pepper, crayfish, tomatoes, onions, and potash. You see, if you want to get your Oho rightly, is the potash. You need this sparkling. This sparkling potash, okay? This shiny one. The other one that is dusty, that one is filled with sand, and it won't make your Oho to come and thick. This one will make your Oho really thick. So I'm going to soak it. This is the best, okay? So I just put the meat inside the pot. I'm going to add in one blend onions and dry pepper, including crayfish, okay? So guys, and I'm going to add in stock cube, one stock cube. You don't need too much stock cube to cook your owo or too much salt. As you can see, the quantity of salt that I just added because potash is also salty. So when you use too much uh, uh, stock cube or salt and you now use potash or more, hey, your what will come out really salty, so you have to be careful of it, okay? So, I'm going to stir the cover it to steam for like three minutes on a very high heat, okay? I just added a little water. And if you want to cook the delicious ogo, the ogo that went to Harvard, please use goat meat. Ha! <laughs> goat meat with ogo, eh? there are five and six. So, after leaving it to steam for about three minutes, I just added the blend tomatoes and one onion. And I'm adding just a little water. Then I'm going to stir and cover it to cook for just eight minutes on a very high heat. You know why? Potash will make all your meat to come out tender really fast. So, if you let the meat overcook now, hey... After adding potash, it will just turn to fish. <laughs> so I just added my mackerel fish. Then I'm going to cover it to cook for 8 minutes so that my meat will come out too done. So this is it. When it gets to this level, the soak potash. So the one that I showed you previously, I used two of that size of potash, okay, for this quantity of tomatoes. So I just added in the potash. I am going to stir the taste. After that, I cover it to cook for another five minutes. So, guys, this is after five minutes. Our uh, whole pot of sauce, I don't know, is ready. So, because it's not yet fully ogo. <laughs> so, guys, so now I'm going to cover it to stick, uh, steam a little after that, I will remove it from fire, open it to come out really cool. Then I will put my yam on fire. So before my yam gets done, my ogo became cool. I'm not saying cold, but cool. It was still a bit warm. So this is it. Yam is already on fire. So uh, my ogo is about to be ready. This is the quantity of oil I will be using. Best oil is that Nigeria oil. This oil, I bought it from a lady who said Nigeria oil direct from Nigeria, not the one that look like candle we buy here in Europe. So guys, I'm going to add in the oil. So let me show you guys, if you know that you cook ogo that went to Harvard, you see immediately you add in the oil, like, like this is just going to like, you see it come out red really creamy. This is it, like magic. Um, uh, let me show you another thing that you will know that you do get your whole right. I'm just going to add in the leftover oil. When you add in oil, and the oil remains at the top of the ogo. <laughs> that one is not ogo. That one is ogo stew. If you make ogo and it come out like this, it's ogo stew. But when you add in oil and it come out really creamy, um, uh, <laughs> that is the ogo that went to Harvard. You see? You would find any oil around. You see it? Hey. So if you are using my recipe and you did get it right, Omar, I will flog you. Just kidding. So this is it, my guy. You can use this to consume plantain, yam, starch, or even fufu. 
So my ogo is ready. It came out really delicious. With goat meat, you can't get it wrong. With correct account, that's potash. Eh? You can't get your ogo wrong at all. So like this, my yam is fully ready. So I'm going to serve my aga at the top. Like, hey, after you finish this tiring yam, he said, is there no more yam? I added more. Just the way I serve it here. This is how I serve my aga. Hey, he really enjoyed this food. And if you are married to an adult man or woman, Please, anytime you offend them, just cook Ogo. Ogo is one of our best, delicious VIP sauce for now. So you don't, if you if you are married from a door and you don't so, uh, sometimes cook this soup here, hey, we will give you we will give you muta. <laughs> so this is it, guys. Let me enjoy it with you. Thank you all for watching. Please don't watch it with that sharing. Oh, God bless you. Bye.